Video game characters are celebrities on their own, but sometimes there's another celebrity behind them. But I can help make you into a superstar. We'd be partners. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game characters based on celebrities. We're making a game about me. We gotta have you do the video, man. For this list, we'll be focusing on characters whose looks, skills, or persona match their real-life equivalent, whether confirmed by the developer or not. However, we will draw the line at characters who were based specifically on their voice actors. Are you happy, Aiden? Also, we decided to exclude characters inspired by Bruce Lee, since we already have a list entirely dedicated to characters who look like him. You know, maybe it's an alternative type of Deadpool. You know, it's somebody... Yeah, well, f*** you, Nolan. Number 10. Ryder, resembling Easy e GTA San Andreas. I ain't gonna pencil whip you fast, sucker. Let me play first. Our list begins with the PCP-smoking, vertically challenged gangsta from Los Santos. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. This character, who does nothing to help stereotypes, was based on the late NWA rapper and vocalist Eric Lynn Wright, better known as Easy e I got front and back, and side to side. Beside their looks, the two share the traits of being born on the West Coast, having dropped out of high school in the 10th grade, and selling drugs afterwards to survive. Need a little something before I go deal with things. What things, fool? Number nine, Raven, resembling Wesley Snipes, Tekken series. Apart from his X-shaped scar and his skills in ninjutsu, not much is known about this cold-hearted fighter. However, it is very easy to see that he was inspired by Wesley Snipes, or more precisely, his role from Blade with a dash of his role from Demolition Man. Their physique being quite similar, we can also note that both are incredible fighters whose combat abilities aren't encumbered by shades. I'll see you in hell. Number eight, Ellie, resembling Ellen Page, The Last of Us. Ellie, come on. This little girl made quite an impression on a lot of people, being the only human immune to cordycep infection. Ellie's physique was actually slightly altered after the initial reveal trailer, after which fans had already drawn the comparison to Paige. How about, hey Ellie, I, I know it wasn't easy, but it was either him or me. Naughty Dog found themselves in quite a pinch when Ellen Page noticed their striking resemblance. The young actress didn't appreciate her likeness being used, as she had already played a leading role in another game, Beyond Two Souls. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay. Number seven, Nico Bellic, resembling Vladimir Mashkov, Grand Theft Auto 4. Welcome to Marvel, <laughs> The Russian immigrant who moved to Liberty City is quite a character. Screw you, you idiot. Voiced by Michael Hollick, Rockstar Games originally wanted Russian actor Vladimir Mashkov to play the role, but he declined. They still kept the character of Nico to look like him, but besides that and the fact that they both come from Eastern Europe, the actor and the mobster don't share much aside from a tracksuit. And if you come back, I'll kill you. You understand? Number six, Lei Wu Long, resembling Jackie Chan, Tekken series. Round two, fight. The super cop of Hong Kong was based on the famous actor and stuntmaster Jackie Chan. Beside the slight resemblance, most of Wu Long's stances and moves were inspired by Chan's. Whether it's the classic martial arts animal stances, the drunken fighting style, or just kicking and punching, they all came from the master. They share a comedic similarity, Wu Long being the Tekken series' comic relief, and Chan being the ultimate funny man of the martial arts genre. Number five, Travis Touchdown, resembling Johnny Knoxville, No More Heroes series. This foul-mouthed otaku assassin's looks and general attitude were based on the jackass star, Johnny Knoxville, who was also the partial inspiration for Uncharted's Nathan Drake. What are you talking about? You'd figure you'd base a hitman who likes anime and swears constantly in this game on a guy who professionally finds exotic and humorous ways to injure himself and other people. Well, maybe that doesn't figure, but it still works. You can take that to your grave. If the attitude, hairdo, and aviator sunglasses don't convince you, perhaps the last name, steeped in Americana, will tip you over the edge. You got it, old man. Number four, Johnny Cage, resembling Jean-Claude Van Damme, Mortal Kombat series. Johnny Cage wins. For a character who's supposed to be an actor that does martial arts films, creators Ed Boon and John Tobias decided to base Johnny Cage on an actual actor who does martial arts films, and they chose Jean-Claude Van Damme. The idea was to have a character who was a cocky actor that was meant to be comic relief. Hey, beautiful. Johnny Cage. Good for you. Some of Van Damme's moves were actually used in the original version of the game, like his famous groin punch splits from Bloodsport, which even made it into the movie adaptation. Uh, 
Number three, Bruno Dillinger, resembling Bruce Willis, Project Cross Zone. San Francisco no Bruno Dillinger. The story here is complicated, but once you understand, there's really no room for interpretation. In 1996, Sega released a game called Dynamite Decca, or Dynamite Detective. It was a beat em up starring a hero named Bruno Dillinger. When the game came out in the US, it was released with the Die Hard license, with Bruno remade as John McClane. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. Flash forward to 2013, and we see the Namco, Capcom, and Sega crossover game, Project Cross Zone. However, since Sega no longer had the Die Hard license, they kept Bruno's old name, with Bruce's likeness. <laughs> Number two, Andrew Ryan, resembling Howard Hughes, Bioshock series. I rejected those answers. Howard Hughes was once one of the richest men on Earth in the early 20th century, and had a huge impact on aviation and cinema. You may know him best from Leonardo DiCaprio's portrayal of him in The Aviator. We are not getting enough production out of Jane Russell's breasts. All right, I want smooth titties, gentlemen. Smooth titties. He also became a strange recluse during his later years, with a laundry list of bizarre habits and projects. I chose rapture. He never founded a city at the bottom of the ocean, but he was still an enigmatic, eccentric, and clearly deranged visionary millionaire with a pencil stash. Sound familiar? In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Before we unveil our top pick, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. I'll show you who is number one in the world. Mama! I'll become the big potato! Number one, Balrog, resembling Mike Tyson, Street Fighter series. You win! Topping off our list is the massive boxer whose name didn't come from Tolkien's mythology, but rather from a name switch in order to evade a possible lawsuit. His original Japanese name was Mike Bison. <laughs> Combine that with his physique and you have the least subtle allusion to Mike Tyson in history. You here to apologize? Well, it's too late. Fearing legal pursuit, Capcom swapped his name with other characters Balrog and Vega. His name may now officially be Balrog, but we all like the idea of playing as Mike Tyson. Don't make me come back for him. Do you agree with our list? Which character do you think was inspired by your favorite celebrity? Oh, for more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.